today I'm going to show you how to make these G4 cube power supplies run a lot cooler. So anyway we have the power adapter here for the G4 cube and this basically works off of the 115 120 volt line circuit and this one outputs and this is obviously the US version because we live in the USA now if you're in Europe uh, they have a different voltage the problem with these is these get very incredibly hot after a while and there's a reason for that these have lots of little vents up here these also have lots of vents on the bottom but even with these little tiny little rubber legs there's not really getting much airflow underneath of that and I mean this thing gets very hot and I'm not talking about right away I'm talking about two three hours I mean this thing gets almost so hot you can't even hold it and this is plastic it's not metal and so I realized this thing's not getting any airflow so what I would do is I would actually put something underneath of it to hike this up a little bit and it would definitely make it run a lot cooler and I'm gonna let this run for a couple hours and do a thermal reading on it and then what we're gonna do is we'll put some little legs on it and we'll do some thermal readings again and see the difference and this thing is just getting starved for air so as long as you hold this up okay it'll it'll get air but I wanted to find a more elegant solution to do that back in a moment so when this computer's running when the computer's at idle and you let it run for a couple hours this gets up to about uh, about 110 degrees and I'll put it on the gun here and we'll see what we get here So I'm getting about a 107 there Fahrenheit, not quite 108. Um, and like I said, this is sitting at idle. This has been on for a couple hours. Now, when you start using this computer, say if you're playing a game or if you're doing, say, a movie, looking up a lot of intense stuff, then this thing gets a lot hotter. Also, like if you're doing some benchmarks, uh, this will get hotter because it's a because obviously the CPU is working harder and it's drawing more current. And this is basically, like I said, an idle. And I have gunned it before and I have had it up to 125 degrees. And it's very, very warm for this thing. I remember Greg from Rug K Mods, one of his videos also, he said that, you know, these power supplies do get quite warm. And so, elegant solution will be to put some little there's little rubber feet on here already now mine's missing one of them but we're going to put something a little bit different on here there'll be rubber and but we're going to get some height out of it because like i said this this right here this where this thing is setting let me get it here see how hot it is and right here where it was setting Uh, let's see about 100 at about 103 where it was setting here but like I said there's holes in here so if we get this off of there and get some airflow then it's going to keep this thing a lot cooler especially at idle so that's what we're going to do and uh, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so this is my little solution here. So we got these little rubber feet on here. They just stick right on there. And what that's going to do is that's going to give us nice airflow underneath this guy. So in theory, it should run a lot cooler. And that's the only reason why this thing gets so darn hot is because it is deprived of the cooling effect underneath the uh, the case of it because air really can't get underneath there 
So I'm gonna let this run for a little bit and I'm gonna really try to get it really nice and hot and see what kind of temperatures we get. But like I said, we're about 100 and not quite 108 with it running at idle. I'll be back in a couple hours. Okay, so we've been letting this run. This ran for just about two hours. And I'll tell you, this is a whole lot cooler than it was. And the bottom of this thing is very cool and I'll prove it right here. So we're gonna gun the top here. And let's see, 97. See, the highest I got here was 98. That's the highest I got on the top. And this is after running a couple hours now. Like I said, uh, this would have been a lot hotter. And I've been using this. I've been I ran it, played a game on it. I've been playing with iMovie over here. And it's pretty cool. And then on the bottom here, to scan this on the bottom here and the highest I get here about 90 about 95 on the bottom here and um, so before that would have been almost as hot here on the bottom as it would have been on top but you can definitely feel a marked difference. This is definitely a lot cooler because it's allowing the cooler air to circulate underneath of it. And the air is coming out on top. So yeah, so this simple little upgrade uh, makes this power supply run a whole lot cooler. And you can do this really with any power supply if it has like vents in it. It would get the benefit of getting it off the ground there. And I think that's uh, pretty good. It's it's a cheap upgrade. It's very simple. It's a lot easier than sticking something underneath there. And it looks nice. Uh, you can get these little, I got these legs at Lowe's hardware store, but you can get them at a lot of different places. They have self adhesive on the bottom of them, so they stick on there pretty good. And I think it looks pretty good. You can get them in different colors. You can get them in clear. You can get them in white. Um, I got the black ones here. And uh, be nice if they made those in silver, but so if I had to get them again, I'd probably just get the clear ones. But the black looks okay. Looks fine. The rubber so that I slip slip anywhere. And it's gonna work a lot better. It's very important to keep this power supply cool because as you know, if the power supply gets overheated, uh, then it could damage it. But with this way, it keeps it very cool. And that's the great thing about it. So I thought you guys would just like to see this quick little video. Kind of thought about how to uh, raise this power supply up. And I think that's a very elegant solution to do. So please like this video. I really appreciate it. Uh, please hit the subscribe button and click the bell. I really appreciate it. We're also on MeWe and Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. All right, guys, so you have a great weekend, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.